George at a barn blow up to let the kids run wild? I saw him in the mall one day. I said, damn. Those look good on those beautiful ears. So I bought him and I said, next time Aaron does something nice or says something nice, I'll surprise her with him. You know how long ago that was? Six months ago. I'm sorry. I... And so what I'm thinking is... Uh, Aaron, what I'm thinking is that either you got to find a different job or a different guy. I mean, I mean, there may be many men out there who don't mind being the maid and getting nothing in return, but I sure as shit ain't one of them. I can't leave my job, George. Yes, you can. You can just quit. People do it all the time. How can you ask me to do that? This job... For the first time in my life, I got people respecting me. Up in Hinkley, I walk into a room and everybody shuts up to hear if I got something to say. I never had that before, ever. Please, don't ask me to give it up. What about what your kids are giving up? Look, I'm doing more for my kids now than I did living with my parents. One day, they'll understand that. Well, what about me? What about you? You think either one of the men who gave me those children asked me what I wanted before he walked away? All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide they need. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I won't do it. Well, Aaron, I'm not them, so... I mean, what more do I have to do to prove that to you? Stay. You got a raise. You can afford daycare. You don't need me.